Today I'm going to show you how the ATAC chamber works. These were the first exhaust valve systems used by Honda and they first came out on the 1984 CR125 which is what this model is. Yeah, well as you can all see it's, it's, it looks a bit weird but there it's the first exhaust valves used. This chamber which is just a hollow bowl which is just to allow for more volume in the exhaust acts as like you know, increases the volume if you all I can say and the actual head of pipe itself has a butterfly built into it which opens and closes during the different RPM stages and actually mounts to this exhaust port here runs off a rack and pinion that runs through there and all how it works is that in the gearbox behind the water pump there's a um, central fuel I think that's how you pronounce it actuator which expands during the different RPMs which then pushes against the um, how can I say, like an actuating arm which goes up through the crankcase and sits in here, this gap here and pushes on this rod here which goes through here, it actually has like gear teeth that sit in there sorry about that, there's gear teeth that sit in there and has a spring back here to keep the tension on it and which runs this which opens and closes it so pretty similar setup to most of the modern power valves still just does the first. Uh, this actually, let's see. Sorry about that. It mounts on there like that. It won't go down all the way because I still got the wrecking pinion in the head. Um, yeah. All right. As it is now, is how you would assemble it on the bike if you were putting them back together with the butterfly valve open, and this will stay open during idling and low RPM, and actually increases. Um, low down torque and throttle response as the exhausts will move through this and then into that bowl creating a bigger back pressure in here improving your yeah, low end torque and throttle response when you hit a certain RPM that will all all this linkage will all snap shut the butterfly will close allowing the exhausts to run straight out and is, yeah, is its power beam and that's that, that's how it works, but a lot of people have aftermarket pipes, it's just a little bracket that mounts over this and it covers that hole, and you just mount the pipe straight onto that, and which, it does have its benefits, but you lose your actual, the snap out power band feeling that you have with two strokes. It just makes you a high RPM, just a harder heating RPM, and makes it feel like power band. So, I'll keep you updated soon. Says.